Hello everyone, this is Richard, founder of shorttermrentalsecrets.com and Airbnb Superhost. Uh, in the first segment we went and we actually drove up to Wyndham, New York and we took a bunch of photos and this second segment here, I'm actually going to go on Airbnb and list it and walk you through sort of the methodology, what's on my mind, um, how I'm going to sequence the photos, how I'm going to touch up some of the photos and hopefully some of these tips that I'm doing in real time will help you not only improve your listing because we constantly want to go back and, and refresh and improve, but also if you get a second or third listing, some of these ideas might help. So without further ado, I'm going to get started right now. I'm listing the entire place. It, see, it sleeps a total of 15 and it's in Wyndham, New York. Yeah. So, um, here I can upload photos and I've already gone through and selected about 50, which is too many, but I'm going to go ahead and upload them now and then I'm going to sort them and get rid of them. So for the interest of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just upload what I have. So while we're waiting for the photos to upload, um, I thought what I would share with you is a really quick and simple color correction and things that really will enhance your images without making them seem fake. But in this particular case, I have a photo that I took from my drone and the photo doesn't quite look as um, uh, properly exposed and the colors are a little bit off. So click on this little suitcase in the upper right hand corner that says show the markup tool. And it's ever so subtle, but you'll see it change colors to blue. And then here's the toolbar that we're actually going to use. And this little prism over here that looks like a, a uh, pyramid says adjust color. So if you click on that, you'll get this adjust color over here. There's really three that I think are going to work best um, in most instances. And again, this is really quick and easy. But if you change on the slider here, the exposure, you'll see how much brighter it'll get. And you want to do it to look natural. Again, we're not trying to mislead anybody, but we're trying to make it look good to the natural eye the way you would see it. And I just thought that this photo, which I think is a really nice photo from the drone, was a little too dark. And so I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit to there. The other thing that you can play with is uh, saturation. And I think that this color um, is a little oversaturated. So you can go to the left and you see it gets really cool all the way to blue and then black or all the way to the right and it'll start to turn you know, red and green and so on. So just find the place that makes it look the way you think it actually looks. Um, and I think it's somewhere about right there at this time of the season. And then also the temperature. Um, you can change the temperature and you can see all the way to the right versus all the way to the left. And again, just find a place that you think sort of looks best to your natural eye. And I think it's somewhere right around there. And then once you do that, it's saved. You don't have to save anything. But what you can do if you want it as a JPEG is you can export it. And then you can select that you want it not as a PNG, but as a JPEG and just name it whatever you'd like. And it'll save it as well. To, in this particular case, I'm saving it to my download folder. And then I'll import this into Airbnb. So in the interest of full disclosure, I am not an expert Photoshopper or photo editor or anything like that. And that's probably you know, a very simple approach. But that's all you really need to do because it'll take a very dark image that has um, no appeal and actually make it look really good. So I definitely recommend you do that. Now I've uploaded all the different photos and it says show travelers what your space will look like. And you can see at the top here the cover photo that they've selected is you know, just awful. So you want to definitely go through these now, delete the ones that you don't need or you think are duplicative, and then go ahead and drag and drop and you can change the order. The other thing that's really important is add a caption here. And you want to describe again what it is that they're looking at, but try and set the scene. So instead of just saying, um, you know, dining room table, say, enjoy a feast after a hard hike or whatever it is with your family and friends, right? And so like people say, wow, this is great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that right now. Um, and I've actually seen a tip from somebody that I thought was really helpful in the caption. If you have listings, obviously I don't, this is a brand new place, but if you have uh, five star reviews from guests that have stayed at your place, you can go ahead and put those here. So instead of just saying something like, this is the kitchen, if somebody comments about a fabulous meal that they made in your kitchen and it was wonderful, go ahead and attribute it to them and say, you know, quote, 
my family had an unbelievable Thanksgiving feast. We prepared it here. This is a great kitchen. Thanks so very much for your hospitality. End quote, Chris. Right? And again, now that builds trust. So use that. The example I'm going to give here on this yoga photo, um, I've taken it intentionally. The light is shining through the, the windows. And so while it may not show the room as well, it shows all sorts of brightness and it shows the yoga mats laid out. And here I'm going to paint the picture by saying, imagine um, morning yoga as the sun rises or imagine evening yoga as the sun sets. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say, but the point is instead of just saying, here's a gym or here's an open space where you can lay some mats down, I'm going to paint the picture. You and your friends have a private yoga retreat after a hard day hiking or whatever. So let me figure out exactly what it is that I'm going to say, but that's the point of the caption. Okay, so now the cover photo I think is critical because that's the one that everybody's going to look at. And I'm just going to show you a couple that I think could work just so that you can see the logic. So obviously the exterior of the house is an obvious one. Um, here they have their own little adjust brightness tool. So let's just play with that for a second. And you can see that it you know, adjusts it. And then also the contrast. Um, and the way that I see the contrast here is in the sky and then also in the shingles themselves, the roof and so on. But I don't think this is the best photo. So um, let's get out of there. I think that um, this is a nice uh, potential photo if somebody's coming out there to be in the wilderness and in the mountains. This is a nice, beautiful shot. Uh, the challenge I have, as I mentioned in part one, is that this is a ski-in, ski-out house. And so the reason we built it where we did build it is so that we could ski, and it has unbelievable location and appeal for the winter months during ski season. We're also going to be hosting guests during the off-season, like the summer. And so the challenge that I'm going to have is um, making a listing that has appeal both in the summer and in the winter without changing the entire listing. Although I will be going in and changing the headline and even the cover photo. Once there's some snow on the ground, I'll come back and take more aerial shots and more photos. And you should do the same to the extent that you have seasonality. Of course, people can book far in advance, so somebody could be looking at it in July and looking for ski season in December, um, but that's just a challenge that I will have. So I think that that was an interesting potential shot. This drone shot I think is an interesting cover shot. They're probably not used to seeing too many drone shots, so it might stand out, right? So from like an SEO perspective, when Airbnb puts up the whole tile page of all these thumbnails, this aerial shot, even though it may not be the best shot of my house, might get people's interest to get them to click. And that's really what we're trying to do. So that might be an interesting approach. Um, and then I thought that there might be a shot of the interior of the house that often people will use is sort of like that best living room shot. And that might be this to just sort of show how wide open, how spacious, how nice, um, and all of the different glass and so on. So um, I'm going to look at all these a little bit more carefully and pick one. OK, so I've selected my cover shot. And I'm going to put it up here right now. Um, and the reason I've done this is to highlight sort of the wilderness and the natural beauty in the summer season, which is when I'm trying to rent it first. It's a big deck. It's got a grill. It's got unbelievable views. OK, so I've gone through, and I now have um, all the captions in place and everything ordered. One thing I just want to note, on the upper right-hand corner here, it says it was saved five minutes ago. But there's also a button that says Save and Exit. So as you go along, you may want to save your work so that you don't lose anything. So let's just take a look at the um, a few shots that I want to point out. The cover photo here, I wrote, Private deck and grill to enjoy magnificent unobstructed views with family and friends. A perfect way to start and end a day of hiking or skiing. See, again, I'm setting the sort of the fact that it's not only private and magnificent, but you're there with your family and your friends, and it's a great way to start the day or end the day and to sort of straddle both seasons, I'm saying hiking or skiing. Um, the other one that I want to point out to you is this one, which is the artistic shot of just the coffee mug. What I've written so far is imagine waking up and enjoying a cup of coffee in your favorite magazine as the sun rises 
whoops, as the sun rises over your private deck. I mean, you're going on vacation, you're going away for the weekend, paint the picture. Imagine doing this. Um, the other one that I'd like to show you is the yoga. Enjoy yoga with your family and friends in this sun-filled oasis. It just seems really inviting. Um, oh, there's one more that I want to just point out. Um, in this particular, um, actually there's two more. There's two more that I'd like to point out. One here is um, the kids' slumber party dream bedroom. Two bunk beds, four twin beds, and two pull-out trundle beds, which sleep six total. And what I've done on the next photo here is say, this is the first bed in the slumber party dream bedroom. So I like just named this thing the slumber party dream bedroom. I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. If I was a family and I was trying to visit a place, and my kids would love to have a slumber party dream bedroom. And so I said, um, bunk bed number one in the slumber party dream bedroom, plus you have your kid's best friend sleep over in the trundle bed. I mean, that's just amazing. If you're selling this to your kids and you say, you can have a friend come and stay also, that's great. The second thing I wrote here was a second massive entertainment living room with seating for 20 for everyone to watch movies or sporting events in surround sound. It doesn't get any better. Um, so just think about what you're showing them and why they would use it and how they would use it and paint that picture because uh, although the picture's worth a million words, they don't know what they're looking at. They've never seen this before, right? They may not even speak English particularly well, so the image may not be very clear, but when you describe to them how they might use it, ah, now I know what I'm looking at. And then when I laid out the order, there's those visual details that I talked about. So in the corner, you'll see the throw or the same color couch. And then in the next image, you'll see that same couch in the very corner. And then you, we lead you up the stairs. And so just think of this as a story. And I've put transition shots of exterior shots or others. Um, between sort of the scenes or the acts, if you will. And I know this has been a long video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned from it. Uh, and I hope it's been helpful. So if it has, please go ahead and like the video, leave any comments or feedback or suggestions that you may have. This is about a community and we're all learning from one another. So I'm really appreciative and I hope that um, you'll go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We've got great content coming out three days a week now. And uh, I really appreciate your time and your interest.